I'm arriving, you know, at 300 kph, breaking in the last moment, close to the line, and yeah, I mean, I had to to break and uh, and avoid uh, a little bit the people, so it could have been a major, major incident, and it's something we don't want to see. Have you seen a pit stop crew take their time with a car? F1 pit stops are among the most dramatic and thrilling aspects of a Grand Prix. While drivers work hard on the circuit to win, this effort is all too often undone by a vital component of Formula One racing, pit stops. The mechanics may make a significant difference here, pulling off that ideal stop that all those hours of training have resulted in. Or it can be when everything goes wrong for the team and the driver. Let's look back at the most dramatic pit lane scenes in Formula One. Number 12. Esteban Ocon, Baku 2023 when Alpine's Esteban Ocon pulled into the pits on the final lap of the 2023 Azerbaijan GP to make its mandated stop. He probably did not expect to encounter a collected gathering of photographers in the fast lane. With the race on its penultimate lap and media people preparing for podium celebrations, news apparently did not spread that Ocon had not yet stopped in the race and only Ocon's superb work on the brake pedal and fleet-footed photographers prevented disaster. Ocon, naturally, does not want to see another scary scenario, and Formula One's governing body, the FIA, agrees, with pit lane protocol changes in the works. Number 11, Kimi Raikkonen, Lewis Hamilton, and Nico Rosberg, Montreal, 2008. Kimi Raikkonen and Robert Kubica did what they were meant to do at the end of the pit lane during the 2008 Canadian Grand Prix. They stopped when they saw the red light. Unfortunately, this took Lewis Hamilton off guard, since he had been dominating the race before being jumped in the pits by those two. The McLaren driver collided with Raikkonen's Ferrari, forcing both to retire, while Nico Rosberg injured his front wing after striking Hamilton's vehicle. Fortunately, no one was wounded and Kubica went on to claim his first and only Formula One victory. Number 10. Kazuki Nakajima, Sao Paulo, 2007. Kazuki Nakajima was preparing to make his Formula One debut. He drove for Williams at the Brazilian Grand Prix at the end of the 2007 season, following Alexander Wurz's retirement and acquitted himself well finishing 10th and achieving a faster lap than his teammate, Nico Rosberg. But the Williams driver got his first Formula One pit stop very wrong. He made quite a hash of fitting neatly into his pit box for the waiting mechanics. The Japanese driver flattened three mechanics, but fortunately after hospital checks, the all clear was given, and thus a frightening situation had a positive outcome. After the race, Kazuki Nakajima remarked, I am very sorry that some of my mechanics were injured during my pit stop, and I hope they're all right. Number 9. Adrian Suttle and Robert Kubica Crash Hunger Roaring 2010 It's dangerous enough when a driver's lack of accuracy causes problems for their technicians, but when automobiles collide around workers, the situation takes on a whole new level of seriousness. This is what happened at the Hunger Roaring in Hungary in 2010. Kubica came out of his pit box and collided with Adrian Suttle of Force India as he came in. On lap 15, chaos ensued in the pit lane, following the deployment of the safety car as a piece of debris from Suttle's teammate, Vitantonio Luizzi's car was cleared from the track. That was the end of Suttle's race, and Reynolds was fined $50,000 for an unsafe release. Fortunately, the only thing that was damaged was Renault's bank account. Number 8. Jerome D'Ambrosio Spin, Hungary 2011 While the collision between Suttle and Kubica was concerning, the Marussia team was taken aback only one year later, on the same track. As the Belgian driver attempted to navigate the greasy track on his way to the Marussia pit box, he lost control of the car and spun right into the waiting Marussia crew. It was a big relief when the car simply ran out of momentum before getting to the mechanics. Disaster averted. Number 7. David Coulthard, Adelaide, 1995 Scotsman David Coulthard was involved in what is widely regarded as the most embarrassing episode in Adelaide Grand Prix history. In 1995, 
Coulthard qualified second behind teammate Damon Hill, but quickly took the lead. Coulthard and Hill swapped fastest laps as the Williams team maintained a comfortable lead, heading into the first round of pit stops. Hill was the first to pit for new tires and fuel, but Coulthard's stop on lap 20 proved pivotal. As Coulthard attempted to make his first pit stop of the race from the lead, he made an incorrect entry in his Williams, carrying too much speed as he locked up and struck the pit wall. That was the end of his race following a major oops moment. Number 6. Nigel Mansell, Portugal, 1991 If the automobile itself does not pose a problem in the pit lane, another piece of accompanying equipment frequently does. Take the tires, for example. As Nigel Mansell discovered at the 1991 Portuguese Grand Prix, when his right rear tire suddenly broke free after departing his pit box. While other mechanics ducked and dived to avoid the tire's path, the Williams team proceeded down the pit lane to refit the tire at the location where Mansell was stranded in the middle of the pit lane, resulting in his disqualification from the race. Number 5. Lewis Hamilton, China 2007 Few incidents in F1 racing history have had so little energy, but so much importance. Even fewer seemed to be preventable. But as Lewis Hamilton tumbled into the gravel and out of the race in China, the penultimate round of his dramatic and historic rookie season, all McLaren could do was watch and wonder what might have been. This was not an accident caused by impatience or desperation. McLaren and Hamilton were in control. Unbeknownst to Hamilton, the pit lane did not dry as quickly as the track. He was blind due to tires that had worn down to the canvas in some spots and a visor covered with filth and grease thrown up by the weather. And as the pit lane curved left, he was caught out. As Hamilton approached the pits on severely worn, dry tires, he failed to handle the left turn and crashed into the gravel trap, beaching his McLaren. Number 4. Philippe Massa Singapore 2008. Those tires may be a genuine nuisance, and in the bygone age of Formula One, the same was true for gasoline hoses. Take Philippe Massa's now iconic scene during the first Singapore Grand Prix. For example, where what should have been a normal pit stop for the race leader became anything but. Ferrari not only released him prematurely with the fuel hose still attached, forcing mechanics to track him down and retrieve it as he plummeted to the back of the pack. But they also sent him into the path of Force India's Adrian Suttle, resulting in a drive through penalty for Massa. He finished the race, which he was supposed to win, in 13th place. Number 3. Kimi Raikkonen and Heike Kovalainen, Sao Paulo 2009 While Suttle was able to avoid becoming embroiled in Massa's troubles, a year later, Moss's Ferrari teammate Kimi Raikkonen was involved in a furious collision with McLaren's Heike Kovalainen. Kimi Raikkonen finished the Brazilian Grand Prix in 6th place, but things could have turned out a lot worse for the Finnish driver. During the first lap, Kimi tried to overtake Mark Webber on the outside and damaged his front wing in the process, forcing him to visit the pits after the safety car was deployed. The worst was yet to come. As Kovalainen left his pit stop with a McLaren fuel hose, Raikkonen, who had also pitted, was drenched in the liquid, causing his car to briefly catch fire. All hail the fireproof jackets as Raikkonen escaped the event unscathed. Number 2. Eddie Irvine, Belgium, 1995 Unfortunately, this was not the most deadly fireball event in Formula 1 history as Eddie Irvine's experience at the 1995 Belgian Grand Prix had established a higher standard. At Irvine's pit stop, a clogged fuel valve caused his Jordan car to explode into flames. The fire continued while Jordan Peugeot personnel ran for fire extinguishers, quickly extinguishing the blaze. Number 1. Joss Verstappen, Hockenheimering, 1994 However, when it comes to fiery pit lane events, nothing compares to Joss Verstappen's at Germany's Hockenheimering. During a pit break during the 1994 German Grand Prix, fuel was mistakenly splashed onto the hot bodywork of his Benetton car, 
causing an outburst of flames to engulf the vehicle. One crew member's suit caught fire, which a teammate thankfully extinguished to prevent the mechanic from potential injury. While Verstappen survived with merely burns around his eyes since his visor was up, given the circumstances, everyone was extremely fortunate to survive. Which is your favorite moment during pit stops in F1? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to explore our other content. Don't miss out on the opportunity to subscribe for more intriguing updates. We value your feedback, so please let us know if you found the video entertaining. We look forward to sharing more content with you soon.